Life is not Mario Kart. When you're in last place, you're f***ed. Ooh, I gotta censor myself. When you're in last place, you're not gonna get a blue shell. You're not gonna get a bullet bill. What's it called? Bullet Billy? You're not gonna get a star. You're not gonna get any sort of amazing power up. You're not gonna get that squid to block out everybody else's vision. That doesn't happen. First and firm, well, first and firm, first and firm, first. First and foremost, my name is Mr. Third Person. I'm your substitute teacher. Welcome to class. I do freeform video essays where it's inspired by my substitute teachers at the time where they would just ramble on about whatever. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe to enroll in the class it's free i'm not selling anything yet legally uh illegally it is the exact opposite in real life where the lower you are the more screwed you are and the higher you get the more stuff you get gifted life becomes easier and easier the higher you get and it's it sucks it's horrible i had this thought originally when the whole slapping situation happened when will smith slapped the shit out of chris rock <laughs> When that happened, Will Smith still won, what wasn't an Oscar? He still won an Oscar afterwards. And then I saw an article about what Oscar winners receive as rewards for the rewards. You get rewarded for getting a reward. And it's like a spa trip to the Bahamas. You get a 15th private jet. You get a unicorn. You get Denzel Curry rapping for you live. He probably wouldn't do that. Hell no. They get all this stuff shoved up their butts, even though they already have their butt. Their butts are full and they keep pushing shit in it. And it's just getting bigger and bigger until it's point they look like the mom from that robot movie robots i said that robot movie like the movie's not called robots and then i think about this further when you look at influencers or just people that are big in general not even just influencers anybody who has a big instagram account or a big account of any kind on any platform they're not just influencers they're also just celebrities in general because celebrities aren't don't have enough popularity sponsorship deals any sort of sponsorship deal any sort of deal where the person gets sent stuff for free to try on even though they can obviously afford it and are oftentimes the only ones who can afford it. These rich people, well, they're not all rich, wealthy, whatever you want to call it. These people that have the money to spend, they get gifted the stuff so that they can show it to people who don't have the money to spend, but feel like they need to spend the money on that thing because that person has that thing. But guess what the difference is between you and that person? That person doesn't give a f That person can go out to eat every single day. They can get a 12 piece chicken nugget from McDonald's whenever they want. I can't do that. I can do that maybe once or twice a week, and that's doing okay for somebody in this level. They can do that every day for every meal if they wanted to. That is 12 times three a day, 36 times a week, seven. That's a lot of chicken nuggets. What, dude, Nepo babies? That's the entirety of Nepo babies. The entirety of Nepo babies is that they get everything given to them automatically. But I made the comparison to Mario Kart. Imagine this, right? If you're born just as a regular human being like me, there are 12 places in Mario Kart. I was born at maybe, let's say, like sixth or seventh, honestly. We were pretty in the middle. We struggled from time to time, but all in all, we were living well. Most people, I'd say, most people, if you look at the like the poverty percentages and stuff like that, I'd say most people are in the range. Let's go wider, six to nine, nice. 12 is homeless. 12 is just, you're on the streets, you got nothing, okay? Nepo babies start at two, and all they need to do to get to one is try. They just need to try anything and they'll be at one because the moment a Nepo baby says, hey, can you buy me a sports bike? They're going to end up being Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps was the swimmer. Neil Armstrong, astronaut. Who the f rode the bike? Most famous bike riders. Nick Hayden. I don't know his name. Steve McQueen. What? Who's the guy that got caught smoking on the herb? Or no, he was juicing. What was that guy's name? What famous cyclist was on drawn? Lance Armstrong. Boom. Okay, I got the Armstrong part. A Nepo baby just has to be like, hey, I want a sports bike. And then they turn to Lance Armstrong the next day. Now, without all the talent, without any of the talent, and you see this, it's very apparent if you look at the musicians. And I got to find this account again. I forgot who it was. It's somebody's son is making pop music, but it's not good. Was it, is it Tom Hanks' son? No, Tom Hanks' son is Chet Hanks, and Chet Hanks is making the best, Chet Hanks is the best Nepo baby. Big up the whole island, massive, it's your boy Chet, He got one Jamaican bad girl pussy. I was hooking up with this chick. One day, she was on the phone with her family in Jamaica. Tell that pussy clad girl, me know what? And since then has been the hardest culture, and it's not a vulture necessarily, dude. He's just adapted and integrated himself into that. He's forcefully integrated himself into Rastafarian culture and it's insane. But all the Nepo baby has to do is try 
and they automatically achieve some sort of success. I'm from the music industry, right? I studied, I have a bachelor's degree of audio engineering. So I had a direct connection to the music industry for the longest time. And you know what I noticed? You will never make it in the music industry without investing more than you receive for the first like five years. You need to invest so much money into the industry until you get any sort of return. And that is, is what many people struggle with because I've met so many talented musicians, so many people who just rip, be that on a guitar, bass, drums, singing, rapping, whatever. People are insanely talented, but they don't have the cash. They don't have hundreds or thousands of dollars to pay for radio spots or for marketing on TikTok or Instagram to perform. Some people need to pay to perform at places. They also can't afford to take the time out required to do so because one of the most important things about becoming an artist is networking just in general and you can't take a week out to go to different cities to market yourself to other people because you need to be working and making money so that you can survive and eat your 12 chicken nuggets you need to do that nepo babies don't they're born one day they rap of eminem verse or they sing a harry Styles song and their parents are like oh he can sing so well let's pay for twelve thousand dollar singing lessons and have them perform at lion king Let's let them perform at the live theater performance of Lion King with no training just because it looks fun. And I personally, let's just to talk on that topic for a second, I'm not hating on her for doing that. I honestly believe that kids are manipulated and misused hardcore to be in these roles in these situations. So honestly, I think Northwest's performance at the Lion King should be how kids should be performing always always give them some freedom let them have some fun don't have them in the glasses and the bow tie <laughs> doing all that shit, right but back to it all a nepo baby has to do is try and then they achieve i can't try and achieve i've tried a lot of shit. i've tried a lot of stuff i've achieved a decent amount but it took a while i was born in the sixth seventh place to frame and now i had to drive i had to drive and just hope that the people in front of me which no how successful you become isn't based off of how successful other people are it is to an extent but nobody's stopping you from becoming more successful besides the system that's why you can't blame certain people for you not being where you want to be you have to blame the system that's just how it happened if a tree is rotting and you cut down the tree and you plant a new tree that tree is going to rot as well because the soil's fucked. the soil has some sort of bacteria in it that rots the tree first cut down the tree take away the tree or whatever maybe you don't even need to do that just switch out the soil put in new soil let it grow better life is not mario kart there ain't no blue shells there ain't no electricity static plot oh this is even a better analogy the six seven plate in mario six seventh plate <laughs> the six seventh place in mario kart sucks because all you get are green shells and mushrooms little boosters to make you feel like you're making progress and to make you feel like you have any sort of power against the person in front of you teaser objects you get objects to tease you you know what actually oh dude oh, oh you're gonna like this oh you're gonna like this one if you're in sixth and seventh place place i did it again how the what if you're in sixth and seventh place or let's say the sixth to ninth place area you get your mushrooms you get your turtle shells you can throw them you can also you get bananas to put behind you so that you can mess up people that are behind you right crabs in a bucket you can throw them further down the only way you get the sixth and seventh place people to the number three to one spot is when the 11 or 12 spots, when they get the blue shell, when they get the electricity, when they become Bullet Bill and just destroy everything. Do you hear me? I need you to listen very specifically, okay? Very carefully. It's not until the six to 12 spots destroyed the first to fifth spots that they can take over those spots. And then it's up to those spots to make sure that we just stop the race now of course once that happens we go from a mario kart race to a demolition derby and then that hopefully we turn into an, any end credit scene from fast and furious where they're driving around like in the sun and enjoying themselves that's what we need to strive to achieve because i'm tired of seeing people that have the money not having to spend it <sighs> Spend the money, you got the money, why fuck me over then? I just want a 12 piece chicken nugget on a Sunday man. Now this is way, way pettier 
thing to get bothered by. I just noticed this on YouTube videos, YouTube video titles, right? What you title when you're up and coming as a content creator, you need to think about SEOs. Okay. SEO is search engine optimization. I hate that. I just want to put it, be able to upload my stuff and people find it, but it doesn't work like that. Now it does work like that for people who already have a following. If you already have a following, people know, oh, I need to check this person's channel out or their videos are automatically shown to, let's say their subscribers or people that oftentimes view their videos or whatever. So at that point you can title your videos, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I just looked up a YouTuber who I haven't watched in ages. It was somebody who I watched when I was like 15, 16, when I was active on League of Legends. His channel is called Magikarp Used Fly, right? Awesome name, great name. His content at the time was awesome. I haven't watched it in years, seven, eight years. I haven't looked at his channel and I was like, huh, I wonder if he's still making videos. And he just happened to recently post a video that he's returning to YouTube. The reason why I'm bringing up him specifically is because I looked at his, the title of his videos, they're all out of whack. They don't follow any sort of search engine optimization, but they still get views. Now, maybe they do. Maybe they have like him and his team have some sort of secret as to how it works or this team. I don't even know if it's like a lot of people or if it's just him, but he has one video that's just titled why capitalized why, but like 15 times. And it's like, how would, why would anybody click on that? Or another great example also from the League of Legends space, Tyler one, look at what he tiles his videos. It's a stroke. It's completely insane. Nobody who doesn't know who Tyler one is would click on any of those video titles. But since everybody who watches Tyler one obviously knows who he is, it doesn't matter. But now here I go starting off needing to title my title, my videos, something that's enticing, something that will pull people in. And then you have to think about thumbnails because people usually don't read the titles in the first place. They see the thumbnail and click on the thumbnail. Now I say most people, I do it like that. I go off thumbnail because the thumbnail should tell you what the, what the video is about, right? So I usually see the thumbnail and then I read the title. Like if the thumbnail interests me, then I read the title of the video and then I keep going or I watch the video. Dim and Splashend. Again, German word of the video. Dim and Splashend. I don't know what that is in English. How long am I going to record them for? This may be a short one, 19 minutes. I wonder, I wonder if I can cut this down for it to still be over. 10 minutes, but I have nothing else to say to this. There was a baseball player who's who took so much, so many steroids that he pulled, he pulled his thigh or something when he swung the bat because there was so much torque in his bind that he created that it just ripped his muscles. That's insane.